It's a 1992 Mazda RX-7, about 600 horsepower. I think that's enough for me today. You've got a lot more controls than probably what you're used to. You've got foot clutch, you've got sequential gearbox. You're going to have to learn how to let go of the steering wheel. Don't be shy on the revs. Get straight into it. Exactly what you did. You got this, straight into it. How's the pit stop fast enough for you? I think it's not too bad. Not too bad? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, nice. Look at it. <laughs> and then finish, handbrake in. And then finish, handbrake in. How's it going? Good. good. This is the beast. Let yeah. The drift, <laughs> Never done it, so uh, I don't know what to expect, really. Well, this is the car, man. Like, this is arguably the most traveled drift car on the planet. Show you a few of the obstacles. First one, we'll just come in, little handbrake entry, do some doughies. The next one, we'll do some figure of eights, and then we'll do a Scandi flip. No traction control, you got no ABS, you got no stability control. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really have no clue, you know, what to expect from it. Yeah, yeah, put on the clutch. Do exactly what you're doing, but just a little bit more aggressive. How's the pit stop fast enough for you? I think it's not too bad. Not too bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real Christian, mate. She's all yours. You've got Beautiful. the ribbon, and Beautiful. you're going to have Yeah, I'll, I'll, get his, I'll get his hand, yeah. Broken solid. Yeah, yeah thank you, man. It was very crazy. I mean, I didn't know what to expect already sitting next to him. And um, then I had to do it myself. I think it's been probably I've been the most nervous in the last uh, one or two years doing that. So just because it's not natural, right? It's not what I do normally. So the first time and also um, I'm on the right hand side of the car. So everything is opposite to me. So that took a little bit of time to, to get used to. But uh, yeah, it was insanely cool. You can't compare it. It's so different. Um, this is set up to go sideways. Our cars basically the opposite is set up to stick and um, have a lot of rear grip um, of course you know also the car the steering angle uh, you can you can achieve is so much more than in a in a phone car so when you go sideways you think like a normal road car as well you would run out of lock right to keep it but here you just keep on going and the wheels just go with you and it's it's very different to drive so yeah drive so you have to get you have to let the wheel go which is not a natural thing to do but once you let it go it actually like it works out you know it helps you out so uh, I mean, I was I was looking at Mike's inputs, you know, with his feet. I, I I'm probably already you know struggling a bit. I can't do heel and toe, for example. But uh, like just use, seeing him using the clutch. I mean, I grew up. I mean, I, of course, I took my driving license in a manual. But after that, I rarely drive a manual. 
So just getting back into things a bit, using the clutch and, and stuff like that, just takes a little bit more time. Because of course in F1 car, you use the clutch on the wheel, you drive off and then you basically don't, you never use the clutch again. So just, yeah, getting used to these kind of things again. Um, and the inputs, handbrake, don't have a handbrake in, uh, in an F1 car normally. Um, yeah, it's just su it's super different. I mean, it's still, you know, in a, in a fun car when you're sliding, you're correcting. It's just here you have much more play. You're, like, you're just going way more sideways. Uh, the brakes as well, they're set up, you know, to, to make a turn. Um, just the, the general, like the basics of driving. I mean, at the end of the day, the same brakes, throttle and the steering wheel. Um, I guess they helped me out. It's probably the same thing, you know. I was also very nervous the, ver the first time I jumped in a one car. I was 16 at the time and, uh, you know, you you don't know what to expect, you don't know how much power it has, like how much it, it pulls off and the same here, I was standing still and I was like, well, I can drive off like a granny or I can just send it, so I just did that and uh, then of course, as soon as you do that, you know, you have the engine side, you're drifting straight away, you know, you have the wheel spin and then you get a bit more in your natural kind of zone where immediately you're correcting and, you know, finding the limits, which you do it in a fun car as well. So, yeah, but then again, I mean, um, I'm not a professional drifter, so it's still about just using the, the correct ways of when to use the clutch, the brake, the handbrake, and that, that I was then learning, but yeah, you just get into like a adrenaline rush and you naturally, like, I don't know, your instinct takes over what to do, how to try and correct it. I liked it that the way he was approaching it, and also he was not really too stressed about it, he just let me also try a little bit, but then at the end of the day he was like still, I'll try this, try that, you know, just tiny little pointers, which, helps me a lot you know for him it, this is kindergarten you know he just plays around he has a lot of fun for him it's natural it's the same thing probably if we switch and he jumps in a one car and I'm on the radio like you know for me because it's so natural you can help him out oh try this try that and it, you know you're so focused on on the driving and it's nice to have a voice next to you which is quite calm and quite energetic at the same time like great job like this is going really well and not scared at the end of the day because I mean sitting next to someone was doing it for the first time it doesn't matter if you're world champion in f1 or whatever rallying or it doesn't matter it's so different but just giving me a kind of trust i think uh, is very nice yeah i mean of course it's a bit different unfortunately we can't sit together so you have to do it from an onboard or whatever radio but uh, i don't know it's up to red bull to uh, to see what we can do there I think um, on the track, for me, what helps a lot is just, I mean, first of course, study the track, know where you're going, know that, you know, whatever is coming up, first thing. Then the brake markers, like always have a reference where to brake, because if you uh, brake at the right time and the correct place, it makes the corner a lot easier. If you're too early or too late, you're fighting the car or you, you, you have to speed up again and it makes the whole corner very awkward. So the brake markers are very important. And then just ease into it with the, with the, with the way you go on throttle, like here, you, you know, you go on throttle, it's, it's very smooth, but I mean, you know, you're spinning the tires, but it's quite forgiving. And a one car is the opposite that, you know, tires are probably a bit cold. When you accelerate, it's easy to spin up the tires. And then if you have a snap, it easily can go left, right into the walls. So it's just like easing into the, the gears a bit. I think he'll do well. He has very good car control. So I think, again, it's getting used to the speed, like the acceleration and the brakes, like the braking force is very high. But at the end of the day, I mean, of course, we are not looking into it. Mike doing the same lap times as me, but just having a good time and uh, just getting a feel of the of the car, which it's a bit more aerodynamics involved, but I think you'll do all right. I think it never hurts to do other disciplines. That's why I'm already driving GT cars. I'm driving rally cars, just to test your skills in a different way and learn, you know, learn from the best in other disciplines. So I think it never hurts. It's really cool that, you know, Rebel as a brand, you know, they sponsor so many different disciplines and sports and activities and seeing so many different athletes as well around the world, I think is really, really cool. And you always learn something from, from any, yeah, any other person.